Hey everybody and welcome back to Beginner's Fab. My name is Eric McGrew. I'm the host of the show. Um, behind me you'll see a piece of metal sticking out of a log and it is on fire. That's what we're going to talk about today. It's um, actually something that I, I just came up with on my own. I saw a video about making a self-fueling campfire. Um, so I brought that out as a point in an off-road independence video. But I also thought, well, I don't have a forge yet to, to heat metals. And I was wondering if it would work. And actually, it does. Um, small metals, of course, are more suited for this. Thicker metals would be more difficult. But it does work. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. I drilled a hole in the side, as you can see, right here. One in the top as well. And I got it started. But watch um, how you can do it at home to, to get this metal hot to, to be able to bend it. I'll show you now. So it may look like this is not on fire, but it is actually on fire. And I am using my drill to fuel it. Watch. So if you have an air compressor, if you have um, a drill, hair dryer, whatever it is, you can actually heat this up and it'll keep burning. Plus, if you start to notice that it runs out of fuel in the log itself, you can keep adding sticks and that kind of stuff. A couple of things you do want to keep in mind. You do want to make sure that you don't um, leave it unattended at all because it is a log that you're using. Um, it, it could fall over. It, you know... Mine is an old log, of course. It's very dry, so it's splitting out the sides and all that kind of stuff. So be smart about what you're doing. Um, I used a really long stick so of steel so that I could handle it without having too many issues. But you can use welding gloves, uh, clamps, whatever you want on that. And um, I've gotten this thing red hot. It, it kind of set for a little while, so it's, it's gone back down. Which now means it's going to be brittle and there's all kinds of issues with that. But... If you're attending to it, not trying to shoot a video as I am, you can do this and actually have this so that it's a pliable metal that you could work with. Um, I'm actually going to try it with a couple of knife blades and see how that works out as well that I'm planning on making here in the near future. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that as well. But yeah, I mean, it actually works. Um, if you want a more practical, long time use, durable piece, then yeah, you probably want to cast one out of cement um, and use it as a forge like that or a thick steel, whatever it is that you choose to do. But this works. If you have firewood laying around the house or you see a log that you can pick up, you could do this and actually have a very small forge for small um, or a small furnace for forging. So it's, it's actually pretty incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Off-Road uh, off Independence. You can go by offroadindependence.com and check that out too. That's my other site about off-roading and overlanding and exploring Chile and uh, basically all things off-roading. And this is Beginner's Fab. I hope you enjoyed this episode of it. Uh, this is pretty interesting to me. I've been looking for a way to do a quick and easy down and dirty forge for meddling, uh, working and of course, the smoke is going to follow me now. But this, it, it works. It's interesting. Um, and I hope to have more projects like this in the future for you. So please stop by. Don't forget to check out beginnersfab.com. You can also support me through the ads on my site as well as don't forget to check out zazzle.com. Off road, all one word, underscore independence. And then you can buy shirts, t-shirts, hats, that kind of stuff there as well. And um, if you have any experience with this kind of stuff, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, do you have any tricks you need to know about? If I don't know the answer, I'll do the research, I'll figure it out, I'll tell you how well it works, and then I will show you in a video. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the future.